we're live here at the LAPD Police Academy, and I'm with Peter Repovich, and uh, he was, how many years have you been, were an officer? I know you're retired uh, now. I just retired from LAPD with uh, 33 years. Congratulations. Wow, that's a long time. Good for you. Long time. Yeah, so how's retirement feel? Fantastic. Yeah. I and I'm not really retired. I do other stuff, but I'm not really retired. Of course you don't. And tonight we're celebrating life and we're also celebrating, as you can see behind us, this is a wall in tribute to the fallen officers. And I want to tell me a little bit about this wall and when it was created. And Well, about a year ago, uh, we decided that we needed to make sure that the 207 LAPD officers that died in the line of duty were remembered because without a wall or without some significant way to reach the public and let them know that these officers throughout many years of LAPD have lost their lives in the line of duty, we needed to create a monument. This is the monument. The monument is 58 feet long in five pieces, nine feet tall, 15,000 pounds in weight and it has every LAPD officer that died in the line of duty since the inception of LAPD. And 207 officers? 207 officers. This is absolutely beautiful. So this was done uh, about a year ago? About a year ago. And then we, once we got the wall, we needed to house the wall. We needed to be able to transport the wall, display it to the public, so that these officers can be memorialized going forward so people remembered who they were and so we created the the end of watch memorial trailer to house it and to transport the wall to whatever event uh, to remind the public the sacrifices that were made over all these years. Yeah. And what were some of the reactions from the family and the friends of the fallen officers when they saw such a beautiful thing in their honor? Oh, I, I think it was very, oh, it's tear jerking. I mean, when they come and they see the, their loved one's name on the wall, it's um, it's very powerful. and. And when we like we put this in various places like a mall for 30 days, you know, the public gets to go up and they don't think about how many officers have given their lives over the years to protect them. You know, they just know that everything's very safe and, and they're, they're in good hands. But this reminds them that you no, know, there was a price or a cost to why they're so secure and happy in their environment. And it really makes an impact because it makes things really real. It makes things real. I mean, to be able to come out here tonight and raise money and showcase the officers that aren't here, yeah. it reminds people, it's like, whoa, I mean, these people were actually living human beings that were actually sacrificed their lives for everybody here. And tell me about the foundation, the Eagle and Badge Foundation. Well, the Eagle and Badge Foundation has been in existence for about 15 years. It's an offshoot of the Protective League. The Protective League is the union for the LAPD officers, and this is their organization, a 501c3. And um, we raise money in various ways, and we give money in various ways. And now our one-year project is to keep the memories of the officers that died in the line of duty. Okay. And how can we give money to this charity? How can we be part of this charity, the community? Well, you can go to LAPD.com and you can donate money to the Eagle and Bats Foundation. Okay. And where do we find you on social media or wherever so that people can get in touch with Peter? Well, I can give you my phone number, but I'm not really a social media guy. But my phone number, my cell number is 213-792-1086. And this is incredible, you know, I just want to say thank you from me and the rest of everybody else in, you know, this country that, you know, you've shown such, you know, tremendous effort and what you've done here. And this is absolutely beautiful and I know that everybody else feels it and I'm sure the families and the friends that see this, you know, it really makes them feel special and honored as a family member. Thank you so much, Tracy. Yeah, so we're going to actually take a little break, but we're going to take, walk down, we're just going to take a look and pan down here and see some of the fallen officers names and then what we're going to do is we're going to shoot over and we're going to take a look at the trailer because the trailer is incredible so you guys follow me we're coming down we're going to check this out so as you can see down here i mean this just makes it so real this is these are people's lives and these guys put their lives on the line for us so 
again, you know, just take a look down here and see what we have. And this trailer is absolutely incredible, this space. I love what Peter's done. I love what everyone else has done here. You guys, please, if you can do anything, give to the Eagle and Badge Charity Foundation. It's such a great cause. And, you know, it's helping out friends and family and everybody, you know, that's been affected by lost lives of the officers. I appreciate you guys being here tonight. And thank you for coming out and showing your support and love.